Hey y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner. Back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all all had a great week. I had a wonderful week and I thought I would change the scenery a little bit since we only have a couple of weeks until Christmas. And uh, just let my dogs in. It's raining outside and they're shaking. So, um, all right. So I have a huge haul, settle in. I have tons of stuff that I found for us. I have tons of stuff, other stuff to show you that I'm gonna be selling. So oh, let's get started. First thing we got at an estate sale. We got quite a few things at an estate sale this week. So this is the Mythology Library Celtic Mythology, the Myths and Legends of the Celtic World. So it's a coffee table book. So we thought this would be interesting. It's got some beautiful illustrations in it. I'll just show you one of them, Celtic Otherworld. So really interesting and beautiful book. And I think we got it for a dollar. Another thing we got at the, I was gonna say the thrift store, the estate sale. Um, my mother likes this. I know she likes the regular Bulgari. Um, this is the All Fresh, but I got it for $8. It says 16, but we bought everything when it was half off. So she said if she likes the regular, I'm sure she'll love this one. So for eight bucks, got her that. Picked this up because we have one of those um, pouches, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's the it's where people can't scan your card when you're traveling and like get your information, RFI, anyway, whatever. It's got like a coating on the inside that blocks that, but it's a neck thing and my husband doesn't like wearing it. So I got this double pocket money belt and I figured he could put that, this one doesn't have that protection, but he can put that other little pouch in this money belt and it was $1.50. We usually use that when we go like internationally, but it's probably a good idea to use it anytime you go to a big city. I got it, we got a few other things at the estate sale, but this, all this stuff is out of order. So I actually got this last week at a thrift store when I went, um, to East Texas. This is a silver bell made by Wallace, 1985. It needs to be shined up. Um, these are selling on eBay for like 85 bucks. So I'm on the fence about whether or not I'm gonna keep it. So, but I put it with my stuff. And then last week I was searching for my Christmas present, which I will share with y'all after Christmas, if you'd like that, if you'd like to see what I got for Christmas, it's not a lot of stuff at all. We don't do big Christmas, but um, I was searching for it because as you guys know, I'm super thrifty and I wasn't gonna pay full price for what I wanted. And I was going to pawn shops and I actually found this guy for $12 at a pawn shop. It is a beautiful citrine pendant. It is Sterling 925, really gorgeous. And will go beautifully in my collection. I have a Sterling and citrine ring that's this color. I have actually three citrine rings. Two of them are this color, so it should go well. And then the other one's more orange. So if you watched last week's Thrifty Thursday video, I got a pair of Lula, uh, Lula Row, not Lula Row, Lululemon uh, leggings to work out in. And I've been doing aerial yoga with a group of friends. And I wore them last week and I loved them. So I'm obsessed with Lululemon now. And, uh, but obviously again, I'm cheap. And so I got these at a uh, consignment store for $17.99. They are super cute. The ones last week were extra small, so they were just a little tight on me. These are smaller, size six, and they fit me perfectly. And they are so cute, and they're in really, really good condition. These guys sell on Poshmark, used for like minimum 30. So I feel like 15 to 20 is a really good deal for these. And they're very well made, so they're gonna last a long time. At a garage sale, I got this brand new Gothic Prom Queen costume for my daughter. And it is a size 12 to 14, so she may have to wait till a year after next, but she loves creepy stuff, so we'll put blood on her mouth and darken under her eyes like that girl and she'll be she'll be loving it and it comes with everything but the wig which we could just do something else here. but for two bucks so as you guys know uh we go to renaissance festivals it's been a little while since we've been but i'm always i always collect things for when we are going to go again i found this beautiful corset really gorgeous 
hook closure corset, ties in the back. It's really, really beautiful and well made and I got it for a dollar. And you guys, these corsets that are really well made like this, they can be like a hundred dollars or more. So this was a great deal. Back to the estate sale. I found, actually my husband found this really pretty picture. I like to think it's Italy. It reminds me of Italy and I love the frame. It's so like vintage, like 70s. Um, it was six, but again, we paid half. Oh, it says where it is. This was painted in 1972. St. Paul de Venise is close to Nice, France. So this is a fountain in France. So that's pretty cool. It's written on the back. It was painted in 1972 along with a little map of where it was. So that's beautiful. Painted by Baracco, El Baracco. Also from the estate sale is this The Not So Big House, a blueprint for the way we really live. Again, I thought this would be a great tabletop book. It's got some beautiful like safe space saving stuff and I also want to look through it because it looks pretty interesting that was a dollar I think uh, 50 cents my husband loves Puma socks and at the estate sale there just happened to be these brand new Puma socks so this lady I don't I think they both passed away. She had so much new stuff. I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm going to resell that is brand new. Like, I don't know if she was going to start her own store and she passed away, but there was an immense amount of new high quality items. Speaking of which, um, these are either going to be for me or my husband. I think they're men's sweaters, but I might take one. They are Davison Squire 100% cashmere. We got these for $5 each. Really beautiful. I don't know if you guys are familiar with cashmere, but it's very expensive. It's also eight times warmer than wool, so it really keeps you warm. And this one is also the same brand, I believe, Davis & Squire. These are size medium. If I take this one, would be the one I would take more than likely, and I would just wear it with leggings. Then, also at that sale, I got this guy, and it's just, it's brand new. And I got it for less than this. So I bought a couple of things when it was only supposed to be 25% off and then went back later on that day. Like I had a list of things I wanted when they were marked down, if they were still there. And I got this and two more items and it should have been 15 dollars and she only charged me 7.75. So and I asked her twice if that was correct and she said yes. So I didn't question it past then. I mean, if I said, are you sure that's right? You got everything? And she said, yes. So, and this is from Market Bazaar at Target, I believe. Yeah, this is a Target item. It's a plate stand. It's brand new. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just liked it. And then the final thing from the estate sale, I think that, that I'm, we're keeping, is this forearm forklift, which my husband was super excited about. It was two, and it's one of those things you put underneath the pieces of furniture to lift them. And so I'm not sure what we're moving or lifting, but if we need it, now we have these. The last two things I'm keeping, um, our church awesomely takes donations for stuff and the kids are able to go and shop for the parents and also siblings. Uh, one Sunday before Christmas. And so the people donate new and nicely, like lightly used items and the kids go get that at no charge. And then when that is over and all the kids have gotten everything that they want to get for the parents, they sell it for a suggested dollar donation. So we ended up getting 18 things and we gave them a $20 bill. And so I'll show you some of the things I'm keeping, some I'm reselling, some I'm keeping just in case like I need a gift for someone, you know, last minute over Christmas. So, first thing we got is this Hell's Kitchen Balti dish, and it's brand new. It's beautiful. It's cast iron, enameled exterior. Um, I won't take it out. It just looks like that. It's beautiful, and uh, I got it for, I don't know, a dollar and ten cents or something. Okay, got these. I thought that they looked like gold, and so I just got them because I figured if not, 
No big deal. I paid a buck for them. And they are, they are what looks to be 18 karat gold because they've got a number. I can't remember what the number is, but the number, whatever it is, I have to get my loop. The number coincides with 18 karat gold. So I have not tested these yet, but I need to test them. And they're just little like ribbed balls. Can you see those? And then the backs are also gold. So that was great for a dollar. I'm going to show you the things that I'm keeping to give as gifts that we, um, and all of these things, I believe, yeah, all these things came from the sale where everything was a suggested donation of a dollar. Okay, so there are lots of candles, and so I got quite a few candles. And I looked this up on Amazon, and these sell for like $30. This is called a quotable candle, and it's new in box. It smells like a wild current. Okay, I was going to say like a lemony, fruity scent. And it says, may there always be an angel by your side, which is a blessing. And I think it's so pretty. That would be such a lovely gift to give to someone. Obviously, we don't have teacher gifts this year because I am my daughter's teacher. Um, so, but I think that's beautiful. This one smells so good. South Porch Sundries SPS Handmade Soy Candles. Let me see if I can get it out. It's really hard to get out of this little bag. So, I mean, like, literally, eyes rolling back in the head. This is hazelnut cappuccino. Cappuccino. The aroma of fresh fruit espresso capped with steamed milk and hints of roasted hazelnut. It legit smells like that. I might keep this one for myself because it smells so so good. The next one I may end up keeping too because the scent oil, as you can see, is kind of coming up onto the paper. This is Tibetan tea, home and body, all natural. I cannot unwrap it because it, um, it would, would rip the paper. But it's a, if I give it, I'll just do like that. But it smells so good. It smells like tea and spices. I don't know who it's made by. And then the last candle is Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Candle, uh, Vanilla Musk and Peach Blossom. And it's a smaller little candle and it's $9.95. It's pretty, it's in a frosted glass. Or I don't know, what would you call that? I don't remember what that's called, but very pretty decorative gift. Obviously this you would definitely need to pair with something else. But um, so I just picked those up for a dollar a piece. I mean, you can't go wrong. This actually was in a little Lancome bag with some like, uh, I'll just show you. It came this, which is Endless Weekend from Bath and Body Works, which smells great, but I don't really wear body mist. So I wear perfume because I like it to stay on. Came in this with these travel things, which I'm going to just use for myself. Hopefully, I'm in frame. My phone just exploded off of the um, tripod. Also, words are not coming to me super quickly today, and I apologize. I don't have any makeup on. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so I just thought I'm going to film as is today. I'm not going to put on makeup because I, I didn't want to put any on. So, Anyway, let's get back to that. So this is like conditioner, two conditioners, a shampoo, and a lotion. I will use these in our camper. And it came in this little long comb bag with the Endless Summer. Then the last, I think, little thing, there's actually two. Little gift is a, um, see, somebody ripped it trying to get into it, a kid probably. This is a body shop, one of those little gift ornaments. I don't know what you call them. It's got a Satsuma shower gel, a Satsuma lotion, and a body puff. And it's from the body shop. So that would be cute with one of the candles or something, you know, cute little gift. So so lastly, and if anybody happens to be interested in this, I would, it's kind of in the in-between. I don't really have a man I need to give anything to. I've, I've already gotten gifts for the men in my life. And so, if someone's interested in this and needs it as a gift for their loved one, let me know. Okay, this is the Kiehl's Men's Must Have Collection. An ideal mix of classic Kiehl's products for the on-the-go man who wants the best for his skin. Make sure it has everything. One, two, three, four, 
five. So there's supposed to be five things in here. There's only four things in here. So that kind of stinks because there's supposed to be five. <coughs> so what's in here is a facial fuel. It's an energizing scrub. There is a Close Shaver Squadron Ultimate Brushless Shave Cream. Again, I did get this for a dollar, so I mean, you know. And a Kiehl's Facial Fuel Energiz Energizing Face Wash. And then Facial Fuel Energizing Moisture Treatment for Men. And then there's supposed to be a bar of soap in here, apparently based on the back. But other than that, it's all in there. So I guess they used the soap and didn't um, want the rest. So anyway, not sure what I'm going to do with that. But for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. Now, let's get to the things I'm selling. Okay, this we actually bought for ourselves at the estate sale. And then I looked it up and realized that these are selling for over $200. So I might sell it. Okay, it is a wood... Um, Inlay, made in Germany. Again, we paid five for it. It is a Bushmead and Gretau, Greto wood inlayware made in Germany. This one uh, is of Rothenburg. Uh, in Rothenburg, it's St. George's Fountain. So, I just happened to look these up and they're selling at auctions uh, for between two and 500. So, hopefully I can sell this one. It's got some areas where the um, lacquer is kind of discolored, but I'm pretty sure they're from like the 50s, so you know. So that was awesome. Let me show you. I also got this at the sale for a dollar. It's really pretty, but I don't really have a young person uh, that dances in our family, and I think this is probably more appropriate for a younger person than it would be for uh, a like 30, 40 year old. So this is Be Inspired Sterling Silver. And it's in a really nice box. It says Be Inspired Sterling Silver. It says dance and it's got a little dancing person and then a tag that says dance and then a little rose gold heart. I think it's rose gold. Yes, I believe that's rose gold. On a sterling silver chain and it says Dance like no one is watching, sing like no one is listening, love like you've never been hurt, and live like it's heaven on earth. Mark Twain. So this is really pretty. This would make a really great gift for someone who loves to dance. Also got these for a dollar at the sale. Uh, they cannot read what they say. So I'm pretty sure that they're sterling. I'll have to test them. But they're really beautiful. They're definitely from Mexico. They say Mexico on the back. And I believe this one says 925, but I can't get it. Okay, so it's abalone and maybe onyx or possibly just a whatever you call it where they paint. Like I said, words are not coming to me today. Uh, what's that called? I can't remember. I'll think of it later. So they're really beautiful, and they are obviously vin vintage, I would say, vintage. I mean, not super old, but probably vintage. Enamel. They could be black enamel, or it could be onyx. I am noticing that at the edge of one of the flowers, there's a little bit of a chip can see right there. So, they won't be very expensive because of that flaw and because of the fact that I'm not sure if they're sterling or not. And if anyone throws shade at me for buying this stuff and reselling it, it was gonna be donated, okay? So, it would be just like buying it from the thrift store. The money went to the Knights of Columbus and I feel good about that. Okay, this was from the estate sale. It was 20, I paid 10, and I did not realize when I purchased it that it is a discontinued fragrance, and so I may be able to sell it for quite a lot. Selling perfumes is a pain though because they have to go ground because you can't ship them priority because they can't go on a plane. I mean, I'm sure people do it all the time, but if you get caught, you can get in a lot of trouble. So it smells really good and I like it, 
but I don't like it so much more than the money that I can make by selling it. So it's Bulgari Note for women. Note? I think they still make the Note for men, but not for women. Pay 10 for that. Also paid 10 for this Bulgari. It smells good too. It's kind of, I actually put it on. It's kind of a citrusy powdery. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, absolute, absolute Bulgari or BLV, absolute BLV. So I paid 10 for that one too. It is how full? It's almost completely full. It's like up to here. So got those. So at the estate sale, this guy was marked $8. There were two of them. The other one is going to someone that I'm doing a swap with. So if she watches this video, she's not going to be surprised, but um, I'm sending the other one to her. So they must have missed these because they must have just missed that they were Michael Kors because everything else was kind of priced up. So this was $8 and uh, I was supposed to pay 6 for each of them and also the plate thing, but I ended up paying seven seventy five for all three of those things. So I paid like to let's say three for this. It is newest tag. It is the Michael Kors Ludlow wristlet, genuine leather. It is red. It is so pretty. It's got the little studs on it. It's got the Michael Kors. Here's your tag. Here's the wristlet. And this also can hook over and it can be like a little mini purse if you prefer that to a wristlet. The inside has still got all the paper on it. The inside's really pretty. So you've got your Michael Kors tag, and it's like the little extra pocket is ribbed. Honest to goodness, I considered keeping these, but I don't use wristlets. Like, I don't. I, I don't use them. I love them. I think they're beautiful, and maybe I need to use them more often, but um, this is gorgeous. The leather is so soft. So that's beautiful. This guy I got long before I went to the estate sale and I bought it, it was a dollar. So it is dirty and it is definitely a vintage purse, but it's still very pretty and um, has a lot of life left in it. So it is a coach. It needs to be, it can be adjusted and it can probably be a crossbody. Like it's that, I think it's that long. So they've got it doubled up, but you can put this through, see, and and get it twice that long. So I think it would be cuter as a crossbody instead of a shoulder bag. In fact, let's do that. So this is what it looks like, and oh, it's definitely. I'm not gonna stand up because I have pajama bottoms on, but it, so that's on the lowest setting. It's way down on my hip. So it could go up a few and still be a crossbody on me. So it could more than likely be a crossbody on a tall person. So it's much cuter as a crossbody. So it just needs to be cleaned up. The thing about this one is normally you can wash this fabric, but I would not want to submerge all of this. So what I would suggest is hand cleaning this. I did see a post where someone said they use upholstery cleaner and that would be appropriate for this. You could just tape this off and use the upholstery cleaner on it. This will be a $10 bag if anyone's interested because it does have a couple of spots on it. So, um, and it will be something that you will need to clean once you get it. There are some spots on the untreated leather, which I think just gives it character. I think it's a super cute crossbody. Super cute. Okay. Enough time has been spent on that. Oh, it also has a really cute orange interior. And it was not a factory bag. Next thing, also brand new, also from the estate sale. Believe I paid $5 for this. It had a tag on it. I think I took the sticker off. Sometimes I worry that they're gonna ruin the bag. Um, I believe it was half of 10 and it's new and it had a little tag, but it was ripped off and I was sad because I didn't know what the model number was. So this is like a mulberry color and then this is like a, a bright red tassel. So when I opened it up, it's actually on the inside. It's a tear. Oh, it's a wine. This is wine. It's a Terra Clutch, retailed for $65 and like I said, brand new. So got your fossil care tag. And it's lovely, and it's got um, 
that treated leather on the inside that I can never remember the name of. And lots of pockets. It's a great wallet. If I didn't have my trusty Tory Burch that I absolutely love. It's a zip around like this though. I love these zip arounds. They're amazing. And you can stuff a lot in them. I would keep this if, if I didn't already love my Tory Burch. It's a spousal on it. Okay. This is the main one that I went back for. It is a Badgley Mishka. It is brand new. See, so she had these tags. Like, see the numbers? A lot of the stuff has got silver numbers on it. Like she had, like in like inventory numbers. But they swore that she hadn't didn't sell online. So anyway, whatever. That's neither here nor there. Let's okay, reel it in. Okay, so it was 36. Half of 36 was 18. It's a Badgley Mishka. Which again, is so weird because I've never found one of these and then found one like two weeks ago and then found this one. Um, Bajli Mishka, Little Melanie Shine in Sapphire. And it, I would not consider this Sapphire. I would consider this a gunmetal gray. I don't think this is blue at all. So, retailed for $1.95. Again, brand new. Let's see the inside. Look at that big pull. This is a great evening bag. And it comes with its dust bag. And all of the insides. And here's your Bachelor Mishka tag. Gorgeous. Gorgeous if you need an evening bag. Very unique. And it does have this. You can shorten it or lengthen it based on where these are. You cannot detach the strap though, but I don't think you'd want to because that would look a little weird as a clutch. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, enough, 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 moving on. Okay, last purse and then I have two more things to show you. So this one I had missed when I went the first time. But when everything was half off, I really was like digging because there were so many purses. So many. Um, this is a Kate Spade. It is a, so I did pay 30 for this. It's a Selena. $2.98 was the retail price. Maybe these were what she was going to sell them for. This says $120 on it. And that Badgley Mishka said $100, I think. Anyway. Whatever. Selena, still got the tag on it. Via Bella Avenue, Aster, Selena. Our price $2.98, super cute. There's your Kate Spade. It is purple. It's like a really pretty, like dark lavender. It's pretty. And here's the inside, polka dots, Kate Spade. And so I did pay up for this one, but I thought it was definitely worth it. It's really, really cute. And I like this little detail where there's just a little bit of a chain. Last two things um, were more cashmere sweaters. So this one is Queen of Scots and it's still got the tag on. It is an extra large. So, extra larges, usually, larger sizes sell pretty well, and it is just a black, I believe it might be vintage, and I paid five for it. And this cardigan, I, I don't know, they were selling for like 80 bucks on eBay. It's cashmere again, and it's white of Haywick, made in Scotland, and it's a cardigan. I did buy one other one, and when I got it home, it had a moth hole in it. So, I just, that was my fault for not looking closely enough. So, that's my haul today. Thanks for hanging out to the end if you did. And if you're interested in any of these items, you can join my Facebook group. It will be linked in the description box below. And you will have to ask to join. I will accept you, and then you may ask about the item. And give me their email address for a PayPal invoice. And also, I always need to know your state to ship to. And if you've bought from me before, that is fantastic. But I have a terrible memory. And I'm really sorry. I cannot remember what state you're in. Like, I just, it doesn't stick with me. Na people's names that I meet. 
and I'll never forget a face, but I'm really bad with names, and I cannot remember what state you live in. So please always tell me your state so I can figure shipping for you. First person to give me their PayPal address and accept the price that I have given gets that item, okay? Uh, if you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave that down below, but I will tell you that the quickest, fastest way to get in touch with me is always through my Facebook group. All right, you guys, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.